What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we're doing another Burning Shadows opening. If you haven't seen our last pack opening from Burning Shadows, it was absolutely insane. We got so many good pulls. Definitely go check that out if you have yet to see it. Uh, but just a quick update on the pack battle tournament that we are participating in. We have advanced to the semifinals. And uh, so huge shout out to Mama Kangaskhan, Shining Alakazam for coordinating and all the other sponsors and people that make the tournament uh, possible, as well as all the participants. Um, Remaining uh, Poketubers that are still in the tournament are en myself, uh, Energy of Fire, and Alola Nolan. Huge shout out to you guys. And there is, at the time of filming of this, there is still one more competitor that has yet to be identified. So good luck to everyone uh, coming this Saturday. We're going to be opening five packs of Celestial Storm. And it kind of brought up an interesting situation. We have this weird box here. And I was like, oh, now I now have to find this product too. And a couple people have asked me, you know, what kind of, how do you collect and kind of like keep, uh, modern boxes and the answer is kind of yes kind of no but and as far as like whether or not it's worth it i think pretty sure the answer is for the most part no but every once in a while there is a situation where oh man i need some product so uh this is super awkward but um as you can tell i had to do some rummaging i did find that i did have four boxes of celestial storm in storage so it will come useful this weekend uh but in general uh i figured like oh if i were to buy a booster box right now um i could buy like collection box elite or etb i guess uh but i feel like having the boxes already maybe save me like ten dollars and this is kind of like a one-off situation so if you're ever wondering is it worth it to just buy modern boxes and hold on to them in my opinion no uh but there may be one-off situations where it's useful and if you wait long enough maybe the price goes up very slowly uh but in general i don't think that's really worth it uh so quick uh that was my that's that spiel and let's get into our packs of uh, Burning Shadows. Yeah, if you haven't seen that last video, definitely go check that. I'm pretty sure we won't beat that. It's going to be very tough, but uh, we're definitely going to try. Those were some absolutely insane pulls. Alright, let's get into pack number one. Hope everyone's having a good day. We have a Leaf Energy. Olivia. Ah, oh, all these cards are going to be rotated out. Yeah. I don't remember actually when that happens. But alright, we have a Venipede. Horsey. A Porygon is the reverse. And for pack number one, we have a... Oh, we did get a foil. A foil Raichu. Was a... Is that a Croak Or Toxicroak? In the background. And let's get into pack number two. As always, guys, if you do want to support the channel, you can simply do so by hitting that like button down below. And uh, if you're not already sub, definitely hit that sub button as well. We do tons of Pokemon content essentially every single day. And uh, we try to do two videos a day, mixing in some different stuff, like whether it's Yu-Gi-Oh, some PTCGO content, um, our series where we open up some different kind of TCGs. We have a Slow King for the reverse. Not bad, I believe that's a rare. Nice. And then a Electros. After participating in, this, participating in this tournament, this pack battle tournament, I have a new appreciation for, uh, you know, reverse rares where I feel like I kind of disregarded them before, and hollows. Alright, still no hits. I feel like uh, we may have spent all of our Burning Shadows luck in that previous opening. We have a Metapod, Porygon 2, Kiawe, ah, oh, it's going to be... Actually, I, I still haven't been able to build my Reshizard deck, so I feel like Kiawe is super strong, and I'm kind of sad to see him go, but since I only go up against Reshizard instead of playing it myself, maybe I won't miss it that much. We have a Lolan Grimer, our reverse is a Dupider, and then a regular rare Heracross. Hmm, when was the last time we had a really good Heracross card? Doesn't one situ The situation doesn't come to mind. I'm not aware of like a Heracross GX... I'm not even sure if there, maybe there was a Heracross EX or Break or something like that, but I feel like I don't remember ever seeing one. Alright, let's see, we got Electric Energy, Electabuzz, Lana, Metapod, a Sandy Gas, Hootoot, Tangela, a Dupider, Inke, a Reverse is a Rabambi, which is an uncommon, and then a regular rare Butterfree. I always thought this card's interesting. Bye bye, heal, heal all damage from all your Pokemon, and basically shuffle this card back into your deck. 
which doesn't sound too bad, but he is a stage two. And to use rare candy to evolve a Caterpie and not have an attack just to heal all your Pokemon, doesn't feel worth it. Okay, so far this is a rough opening. Does seem like we used all of our good luck in that previous one. We had Acerola. Hmm. Definitely go check out that video, guys. We actually pulled the Acerola. Sorry for the spoilers. All right, we have all Rolo Rattata, a Raquinid. Okay, our Dupider did evolve into a Raquinid. Pretty nice. And then a regular rare Lycanroc. Three packs left. Still waiting for our first hit. Uh, yeah, if you're not familiar with that pack battle tournament, definitely go check it out. I'll put a playlist of all of the videos down below. It was a, a lot of fun, and again, I think the fact that the packs that we open uh, are kind of going like in reverse order. So you start, you know, you start opening packs that oh, I haven't. Even though you probably open one every once in a while from like collection boxes, you know, when it's only like one pack. It's somewhat of an afterthought, but you know, just seeing having full openings of these sets that you haven't seen in a while is a lot of fun. All right, we only have two packs left. This is pretty rough, not gonna lie. We have Knocked Owl, Mount Lan Aquila, Esper, a Noibat, Stuffle, a Mudbray, a Tynamo, a Reverse is a Simisage, and okay, all right, we didn't get shut out. We do have a beautiful Ho Oh break. Um, don't think this card's very good, but I really like the art. I feel like this is one of those GXs where, I don't know, I kind of like it when it really looks like the, the Pokemon is popping out of the art. So, very nice pull. Ho-Oh GX. And our last pack is a Ho-Oh art. Alright, really demolishing this pack. And for our last pack, can we clutch up and get something good? Glad we didn't get shut out, so we might have to settle for that. We have a Psychic Energy, Buffalant, Charmeleon, Rhydon, Riolu, Meowth, Alolan Vulpix, Super Cute, Wimpod, Togedemaru. Our reverse is another Riolu, and for our last pack, we have Boom! Ho! Oh, Galissapod! Nice! This card actually was really good. Um, I imagine it became your active Pokemon this turn. I imagine it was just because you kind of like just do a lot of first impression stuff. Kind of like how Zapdos is now. And it just 120 for one. It does a stage one though. And then the armor press uh, just for a... Armor press isn't actually bad as well. So very nice pull right there. So we did get two, two GXs. So I'm going to call that, uh, you know, very solid opening. It was pretty backloaded. <laughs> So I was definitely uh, worried that it was going to be a dud opening. But actually, looking at these two arts, you know, I definitely feel like the Ho-Oh is like much more in the face than versus the Galissapod. And uh, that's why I do really like that art. So that's it for today's opening. Um, as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe, all down below. Stay tuned this Saturday for our the semifinals of the Pack Battle Tournament. Uh, I Really appreciate if you come out and support the channel. And uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get some good Celestial Storm packs. We're going for some Rayquazas. That, that's uh, still my favorite card from that set. And that's all we have today. As always, uh, like, comment, subscribe down below. I'm Wanda Turtle. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.